Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome to a random colony in Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. This series is going to last about six or seven weeks. It's going to get me and you into the middle of September 2023. I say the middle because once my next daughter is born, and she's due in about a month and a half, two months now, um, I'm absolutely going to be taking some time off to help take care of her, take care of my wife, take care of my oldest daughter, my co-pilot. I still have to figure out what my uh, youngest daughter's uh, things to me. She may also be called my co-pilot. I'll have co-pilots, plural. Um, Chaos Theory will be one of the events in this one. I'm also going to have Amateurs and Armageddon. Note that the difficulty right now is only 200%, so there's something that I've learned so far. Because I've, I've tried to do this one a couple of times, this intro, and I've been still dealing with my coughing fits. What I see with this is that I the game already knows what sponsor I'm going to be. And right now it's probably going to be BSC. Just the fact that I'm at 200%. So I'm going to do that. Do this again. I'm at 260 now. And you kind of get an idea where we're going to be. 260 is indicating I'm probably going to be Europe. I'm okay with that because Europe is, is a fun colony. RC Seeker being another indicator of what I'm going to be playing as, because the RC Seeker is a remote-controlled vehicle that transports, controls, and repairs drones, acts as a sensor tower while idle. Doesn't really do much for me. The rocket doesn't have a lot of space, so I'm not even going to have a drone hub coming up with this one. One thing that I am going to be trying to find on this is one that has some disasters and also is relatively flat. That's going to be kind of my main indicator for this one. This one... This, this site's not bad, actually. Cold waves are going to be high. Let's go, like, here. Try to has got a little bit of everything. Because I do want to have that ability to have just some some disasters of all types. I want to be an equal opportunity offender with my disasters this time through. This one down here wasn't too bad. Just need that cold wave to just tick up one. Oh, they ticked up big time. Hey, up there. 14 north, 53 degrees west. Got a little bit of everything, so we're going to have some disasters of all types with this. And you just saw me scanning around trying to find it. I was using um, the previous attempts of me to record this series, and I'm going to have a coughing fit here in a second. Um, I was just hitting random a bunch of times, like, oh, that looks fine. But no, I want to have disasters of all types in this playthrough. Welcome to Mars. An ecologist commander profile. Wasn't expecting that one. Ooh, this is not a good start. Okay, when I expect relatively flat, I'm expecting all of this to be flat, by the way. Um, let's pause for station identification, see what we got here. Let's check what we uh, other plants we have. We have India, Japan, and Russia as our other three colonies. So we're going to have some good trading opportunities there. We do have uh, the below and beyond turned on for this, so... I want to try and find out where our underground access points are. We've got one here, very close to where the sector has already been scanned for us. And uh, let's see, what's an ecologist do again? Ecologist. Service combo to decoration decreased by 10 and hanging gardens is already unlocked. Here are the goals, mission goals for Europe. Researching five physics technologies, 20 scientists, two Hawking Institutes, 50 martial Martian scientists, and 10,000 research per soul. We had that very easily done in my last series, the Mole People Colony. But let's see what research we have to start with. And there's our hanging gardens. Live from Mars, that's a decent one to start with. Autonomous sensors, though, will be our first research. No longer require power or maintenance shuttle hubs. RC uh, transport optimization space elevator at 1,000 research. Welcome to Chaos Theory, kids. Biorobotics workshops, launch space mirror, and magnetic shields. Oh my god, we can nuke the polar ice caps. We can nuke the polar ice caps super early, folks. It's going to be awesome. Um, we have advanced mining operations and deep space scanning available. Okay. Um, autonomous sensors, transport optimization, logi hydrosynthesis, orbital engineering, and... I'll do uh, CO2 jet propulsion. This is going to be a pretty good start. I am also going to outsource right away. With this, I'm also going to look for some water. Decent spot to have some water. Um, let's do. I'm going to do my orbital probes here and here. That is why I fail. I'm probably going to need to order up some more, so I'll get a sh uh, a pod out here in a minute. But let's go ahead and scan these out. 
And I don't have deep scanning unlocked, unfortunately, so a little disappoint on that. However, let's go ahead, get this guy on the ground. We do have a key, which means we're going to be able to unlock some extra stuff right away. That's helpful. Let's get a large Universal Depot going. It's going to be my standard. Grab you over here and my RC Seeker. India has almost found water on Mars, so let's immediately order that supply pod. I'm going to request one drone hub and five orbital probes. That's all I can carry. Okay. Everybody's trying to find water first. I'm a little bummed that I didn't find it in my deep scan, in my orbital scans, because that would have made things so much nicer. Had I been a high water hydrogeologist, I think that's the one I'm looking for. Um, that would have made things so much easier for me. RC Seeker now in range. I can actually start picking up these metals over here. No idea what this stuff is. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren and Ooh, drone swarm. The red planet than Very good technology to grab early, too. I'm actually going to put this one. And also, Earth Mars Initiative, increasing sponsor research by 100. I'm going to put this one here. So I want to get the drone swarm because I'm going to get a drone hub built soon. Then Earth Mars Initiative increases the sponsor research by 100, so instead of 1400 I'll have 1500 per day. Nothing else to really go scan right now, but I am going to kind of go down this way. I'm not going to use... I'm not going to send them into the, uh, my Explorer into the Underground just yet because I will need to order up a replacement if I do. So, not doing that just yet. I do, though, need to get my fuel situation going right away. I think my fuel, let's see, can get it out to there. Research complete. Autonomous Sector sensors scan. are done. Ah, yes, I got my water. <clears throat> got my water. Yes. Ooh, nice. Let's go like right there, too. All right, so I've got a decent colony spot down here. I've got some water available. I got a vista over here. That's going to be really good. A comfort boost is going to be helpful for me going forward. All right. Stop. Power time. Uh, let's do this. Okay, you're hooked in now. That's nice. And your dust radius. Excellent. Go ahead and drink down my drone hub because I want to have you available as soon as possible. Do that there and also get my Another fuel refinery found. going. We discovered hey, $400 million. I'll take it. Open that guy up, and we're going to immediately turn around and get a power accumulator going. You, this is really standard for how I build colonies. Get my Sterling Gen down, get all the power going, and then kind of build out from... Wow, that could have been so much worse. And kind of just get everything going from there. Thankfully, my Seeker is uh, in a position where I can actually, you know, do things. Going to need to get a Hey Hey down Sector here soon. Scanned. There's the... Ooh, Wow. A lot of metal over here. 81 metal on the ground. I'll take it. Let's go ahead. Also, let's get some storages down. Not a universal. We'll get a concrete depot down. I'll be happy with a little concrete depot. I'll put a dumping site kind of down here for him, I guess. I'm not going to scan this because it goes into the underground. And of course, uh, drone swarm. Almost done. That's going to kind of dictate what we do next. Getting a drone hub of our own going. And I do think... I think this is going to be our dome spot. It's a little away from where we're at right now, which is going to require a lot of... Research complete. There's going to be a, lot, a little bit of coordination going this way. Note there's no metals over here, as far as I can tell. Unless hopefully I get some down in these sectors. Because the Vista would help me, you know... Anomaly Get some call in a saddle. Someone joked we found kryptonite. Yes! Physics tech, tall, tech reduced by 10%. Other options kind of go over here. Flatten this area out a little bit. And then get these two domes hooked up. Hey, 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 hey. Get the hell away from me. That did not stop that one. Sector scan. That was not stopped by... That, that, that dumping site did not stop at all for that, uh, did not stop that dust at all. Alright, 
We're working on fuel. Give me a while before we get anything off the ground. Okay. I'm gonna go kind of like this. Oh, there's the underground entrance. The other one right there. That was easy. Alright. We're gonna get a surplus of, let's call it... Let's call it 120 waste rock. I'm gonna flatten that area out. I want to make sure that uh, these two are going to be in range of the dome, whichever dome I decide to build first. It's also going to be near the underground, which is helpful. The basic dome would be able to access both of these sites from out here. Hopefully Flatten's not going to make things worse over here. Knowing my luck, it probably will. Check which technologies I'm going first. We got Rover Printing now going to be coming available to me. Um, I'm going to grab that next, too. And physics techs are the ones being reduced. So I need to work down physics and robotics simultaneously. One giant coughing fit later. Getting to get some sensor towers. Or some uh, sensor... Yeah, sensor towers built. That way, we'll get a better idea of what's coming out around us. And also be able to scan some of the stuff out a little bit faster. Helpful to know that both underground spots are relatively close by to each research other. Complete. Earth Mars Initiative. Give me some extra research. Always helpful. Oh. I also, if you go in the description of this video, I have added the link for Omega Unlocks All. That is one of the new breakthroughs I'm using, or breakthroughs, one of the new mods I'm using that'll get all the breakthroughs taken care of. Heirloom. You know what I'm picking here. Superior pipes and cables breakthrough tech. Don't get me wrong, nano refinement's great, and I'm gonna get nano refinement once I get the Omega Telescope built. But superior pipes and cables, especially in a colony where I'm gonna have dust devils, dust storms. This is amazing. It's helpful, super, super helpful for me. So I have to do these ones. Nano refinement's very good on a map where you don't have a lot of stuff going for it, but these two are good in any colony. And you bet your ass I'm queuing them up. Sweet! Alright. Got a couple more breakthroughs. Un not more breakthroughs. Concrete deposits unlocked. Another sector unlocked. I need to get a hey hey down. And I'm also going to need to get a landing pad down. Considering that I'm going to be putting down... My plan right now is to put the initial dome in this area. And almost kind of build... Around this. So we have a research site, which will be good. Maybe as a third or second, as a second or third dome. But this one, this area, I think will be the first dome. Because we'll have the access to two spots to mine. I almost wish I can get a medium dome unlocked, which I think is from hmm, engineering, maybe? I think engineering is the one that's for here. Text message from the wife. Yeah, it, pretty sure it's engineering. So if I go down this way, I'll most likely be able to locate the medium dome tech. Or hell, if I get the mega dome tech and slap a mega dome down first, all the better. I do wish I had a dozer or something Research for this. But I think a hey hey is going to be needed next or more urgently. Uh, let's kind of bring this guy down this way. Because he's moving. Let me. Oh, wait. Come over here a little bit. There we go. Okay. And Drone Swarm is done, so I can really just put down a, a hub whenever I want, Sector which is kind of now. A lot of access to stuff, but not a lot when it comes to the new dome site. This guy's going to kick up a ton of dust when he leaves. Ooh, hang on. How about right... Ooh, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I like this. I don't have the, I don't have the superior cables done yet, but I kind of like this idea of running the power down this way around it. It's out of the dust radius of everything. And hopefully these drones will actually start doing stuff this way. Bring this bring this guy over a little bit more. We'll finish flattening this guy out. Because again, want to get the dome done as soon as I can. First human on Mars constructor dome. These are pretty big things I need to get done, but also Logi hydrosynthesis needs to be located too, and that's, I believe, an engineering tech. You'd think with how many hours I have in this game, I'd probably guess 400. You've seen almost all of my playthroughs, all my time playing in this game. 
Um, you would almost think that I would have like these things memorized, knowing where all this stuff is. So, I think it's in engineering for Luigi Hydrogen Synthesis. No one thinking up here? No. Advanced Martian Engines. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, that'll Sector actually reduce scanning. the amount of... Ooh, another key. That's another breakthrough. Thank you. Research complete. Wait a minute. Hold up. I have another rocket. What the hell am I doing here? I need you. I need you. Don't need the drones right now. Yeah, let's just do this. I want to bring a. I want to bring an explorer to send into the underground. I want to bring a transport to pull stuff up. Uh oh, meteor! It's gonna be one of these playthroughs, I see. Spicy playthrough. Ah, excellent. Another sector scan, Anomaly and we have a, another vista. Not really match up to what I got over here, but I'll take There's what I can get. Drone hub and interplanetary projects. Wait a minute. That's this one. Greenhouse gases and capture asteroids. That's very good. Capturing asteroids is going to be really helpful. Uh, but let's get the uh, space elevator unlocked. It's going to be really helpful to kind of kick kickstart things for us. And then also getting those superior pipes and cables undone. Really, I'm just waiting on this flattened project. I almost don't want to build a dome until I have this available to me. Um, also, look at the fact that I only have eight polymers. I used some of the polymers that came up here. Need to try to find some more. I'm not seeing any on the ground, unfortunately. If I did, it'd make things a lot easier for me. But I'll definitely go into the underground. I'm not. I don't have the elevator tech yet. So whenever the elevator tech is found, and realistically, the elevator tech could be way the hell down here. Recon expansion down this one. It might be a while before I actually formally get an underground operation going. Do you have an idea how long it'll take the space elevator to go? I have none of these. I'm well short of those things. Space elevators are, re are late game things for a reason. If it was like, oh yeah, here's a prefab for this late game thing, totally fine. Not really the case here though. Got our second rocket down here. But again, we're going to fill this guy up first because Vega 1 is almost fully fueled and ready to go. Advanced Martian engines aren't done yet. We did unlock waste rock liquefaction. Once we uh, got the orbital engineering done. So I'm going to go ahead and queue these guys. Wait a minute. You got to kind of like go back and forth between these three technologies. Uh, engineering, robotics, and physics to find exactly what I'm looking for. You now see that it's starting to flatten out a little bit. So we can get our first dome built up here relatively soon. Still have a concern about getting the polymers needed. I'm still need I'm missing some polymers. If I can get those, and then I can run on, I can get that first dome built up, because right now I'm short on polymers at this time. Yeah, we're going to have to do just a basic dome, I think, here. Or a micro dome. I'm going to do it like that. I'm just going to build this guy based on what I have here. I'm going to send that explorer down. This other one's going to come over here. So we now have the underground unlocked. This is going to have to go back down to a low priority. You know, a high priority. Much as I want to keep doing these videos as rapidly as I have been. I'm not going to be able to. Like, I'm probably going to need to take some time for my voice. So what I may do is take a day. Get myself all squared away. Probably put my face over a humidifier dip myself head to toe in VIX or something um, just to you know, flush this out of my system and then uh, continue on with it. But right now, just getting that micro dimble built up because I want Russia to not get this breakthrough first. I'll just build this dome and then, if I can look at prefab refab in here, or better yet, decommission protocol, I'll most likely just shut it down. I can still have all the production stuff. Lake Vaporators. Ooh, yeah. No longer need to be supplied with water. Thank you. Let's run downstairs because now I got this done here. It's a series of tubes. Found. Oh, wow. We got a collapsed tunnel, which is probably telling me there's something really cool over here. Oh, wait. Another collapsed tunnel. Collapsed tunnel. There's something fun right there. Once I get that technology, I'll be able to Milestone do a lot with it. Achieved. Yay, research. 
Just clicking around randomly, see what I can find here. Ah, well. We'll figure it out in a future episode. Okay. Got this going here. See what we got upstairs Sector now. Scanned. Totally fine. We beat Russia to that breakthrough. That's the big thing. Human on Mars, though. That one is going to be tough because this rocket... Oh, good. It's fully fueled. Let's go. Research complete. Boom. Superior Mask cables. Achieved. Oh, automatically finished now. And we're on our way into superior pipes. We're at 32% on that. And I'm just going to keep working through these technologies to find exactly what I'm looking for. Probably slap live from Mars in there also. Any other things? I'm going to actually go down here. Just kind of wait for what's coming on that one. All right, let's see what we got down here. We got to see some food. That was weird. All right. Polymers. Oh, shit. We got polymers and electronics down here. Crap. This is a bit of a problem for me, actually, because I need those polymers upstairs. Another collapsed tunnel. Wow. Interesting. There's, wow, okay. We're near something big down here. We're near one of the, bra uh, kind of hope I can see what the anomaly it was. Sector scanned. All right, more metals. I don't have an uh, automated mode for Hey Hey yet, so I'll let him do his own thing. And these guys still working to flatten this. Amazing that with a drone hub, a fully operational drone hub, we're still not moving a lot. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels right now. But if I can get the um, um, regular dome here, that's, that's, the, that's the dream right now. And let's just probably spend some time exploring with this guy, just to see what we have. Ooh, we found a metals deposit. That's helpful. Anomaly found. A regular anomaly. Let's see what we got. I'm going to drive around a bit first, and then... Okay, the key I'll probably grab, because this just unlocks more things for us. Resources it's the eyeballs, right. things like that. Those are going to be the tough ones. I'm not worried about water or O2 right now, because I don't have a need for either of them at the moment. Sector scanned. A lot more concrete being discovered. That's good. Having a healthy supply of concrete is good, especially in the early days of a colony. I definitely, definitely want to try to get this done up before I wrap up this video. Anomaly found. And admittedly, the elevator, which is on this tech tree, and I'm not really going down it right now. I need to. Um, would really help things along just so i can you know send hay downstairs there's more to the adaptive probes the red rate of disposition the planetary survey a micro g mining all right not bad stuff plasma cutters is very helpful uh pros achiever and deep scan that's good also i'm actually gonna queue this one up above that so let's do this i'm gonna put adaptive probes at number two just because i don't need the trains Wait, I can do deep scanning with this guy? Anomaly found. Yes, I got my first rare. Come on. Let's be something good. Let's be something good. Let's be something good. Maybe global Sector support. Scanned. Global support for the win. Oh, we got a dust storm. Okay. I'm going to need to actually construct a single wind turbine here. They might get there before me on this one, unfortunately. Because I don't want to put these folks in a dome and also... I'm not going to get this before Dust Storm arrives. Unfortunate. So Rush is going to beat me on that breakthrough. Sucks. Here's the fun part. Boop, boop. Cables are built. Um, Pretty sure I don't have Meteor Storm on the forecast today, but all right. All right Superior Pipes being researched right now. Come back and drop off your stuff here. Ooh! All right, this is actually a good one and something that's very, very helpful too. Hey, hey, remember I talked about like a nano refinement? I don't have to worry about that now because automated extractors, extractor AI is now available for me, creating robots to handle the menial work. This is service bots, mechanical colonists or bio robots. Um, honestly, extractor AI is kind of kick ass. I can't really, I can't really argue the extractor, a the awesomeness of extractor AI. It, it, it's extractor AI. And service bots, as we saw in the last playthrough, it does work to a point, 
And then we have the problem of... Found. Just, uh, okay, it's a key. It's a key. A lot of, uh... A lot of collapsed tunnels in here. I'm a little, uh... A little concerned by the amount of collapsed tunnels in this one. But hey, Extractor Great AI. Dust storm approaching. I was aware of that. Alright, there's Extractor AI. Uh, uh, okay, find this one. I'll spend it. I'll slap a billion down for that real fast. I'm not going to have the... Uh... Polymers to build this. So I actually need to close the Sterling Gen up. We do have plenty of power. But also, now that I have superior cables done and superior pipes coming along here shortly, I don't have to worry about them being damaged by dust storms. Um, where? Oh, it's just that one over there. Okay, that area is collapsed. Can't get through there. Got a research site. Another key. That's good. Ah, the bottomless pit. Found the bottomless pit. That's gonna be one of our break, one of our big breakthroughs. This uh, research complete. Playthrough. That's a good one. I like it. There we go. Wow. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting that. Was expecting to have it um, facing down because this is the the usual angle I have on this. Okay, Russia got a human on Mars. Screw them. So we've got a regular anomaly. We've also got this guy. This is this is kind of good too because I can easily support with Extractor AI now. I'm going to have to actually put a dome down here. We know this because the bottomless pit lab requires. Um, oh come on, Steve! Think um, it requires workers. We discovered unusual. Hey, extra cash. We'll take it. Great dust storm approaching. Uh, yeah, we're very low on polymers. Meteor storm. Damn, they're gonna hit us with everything, and which probably means this colony's gonna fail bad. But I really don't care. It's gonna be fun. If this if this somehow does fail, you bet your ass I'm gonna restart in these coordinates because this is going great so far. Boom! Look at that. Pipes and cables already done. All right, we are short on everything we need. Really. Hmm. Mel's flat beaker for research. That's good to get. Well, and can we choose done and researched faster? Ha 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 ha. But honestly, getting the keys, getting these things researched, a lot has been done very early in this calling. Once Soul 10, Anomaly we have analyzed. the bottomless pit lab. We know we're going to get the bottomless pit. I would love for the ancient artifact, honestly, to be the second one. There's also the jumbo cave. That's an option. Anomaly found. Got another collapsed tunnel over here. Cable Wonders! Ooh! Have I actually done Cable Wonders yet? I don't think I've ever done the Cable Wonders. Because uh, usually it's the Ancient Artifact, the Bottomless Pit Lab, the Jumbo Cave, and the Cave of Wonders I think is the fourth one. I don't think I've ever had the Cave of Wonders. Okay, this colony somehow dies. Somehow. I'm gonna restart. In the same coordinates, restart the map, all that stuff. Research Might complete. do something a little bit differently. I don't know. Atomic Accumulator becoming available. That's nice. Mars Nouveau. Ooh. Mars Nouveau is really good because it actually makes things cheaper. Maybe by 20% is enough for me to build that basic dome super cheap. Like cheap enough that I already have, have everything. Ooh. I'm gonna take the exotics here, just because I know I'm gonna need them. Great dust storm approaching. Oh, hot diggity damn! That's exactly what I need. Well, maybe not exactly exactly what I need because I have seven of ten here. I've almost got exactly what I need, so that's good. I do feel a little weird. These drones somehow. Okay, they are right on the edge of what they can do. Wow, I should have actually checked that before I uh, hit go. Um, Victor one, a rocket. It only needs a little bit more fuel, and I think I can actually get that rocket out of here before the dust storm hits. We'll send this guy over to grab the key. I'm going to go ahead and bring him on over here. 
I actually do need a Universal Depot in this guy, but before I slap those down, let's make sure I've got plenty of life support going for it. There's my Moxie. I actually don't have a surplus of water, so I can't do anything with that. Do that. And a medium O2 tank. We'll put those next to each other. They're not going to get a lot done before the dust storm hits, but I'll do what I can to find what... Get what I can done before then. My, oh my god, there's so many polymers down here too. I need to get that elevator. Another collapsed tunnel. Okay, so an RC... Well, I have an RC Seeker. So the RC Seeker would actually be great down here. In a way. Because I want the RC Seeker upstairs to be able to, Anomaly you know, found. find stuff. Okay, it's just, it looks like it's an eyeball. Oh, we got planetary anomalies too. Great googly moogly. Great dust storm approaching. Okay, what do we got? Kappa needs people. Nope. Spring needs, uh, an erase. Shit, okay. We'll send them. I might as well. I mean, so I don't have an explorer here. That's totally fine. Um, we'll be okay. I legit think we're going to be okay. Because, okay. Okay in air quotes. I actually need to hook this guy in. Let's get a water extractor done. I want to get this hooked in so we can make sure our fuel refinery is still operational. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass not having any... Um, water being produced during the dust storm while this is gone, because... Anomaly analyzed. Okay, we got metals coming back. Great! I still need to refuel this rocket and get it back to Earth, though. And not having any water production, bit of a problem. Okay. Sector scanned. There we go. Build that guy there also. We've got the metals, we've got the machine parts. I'm running low on pretty much a lot of my basic stuff. So, what I'm getting from this is that... Anomaly found. We're gonna... Th this colony's gonna run into a problem. Probably in the next episode or two. Where I'm Research gonna have complete. to... Meteor shower incoming. I cancel that dome site for a second. Hang on. Oh, ex how did I read that thing? Pasture comfort modules can be very helpful too. I do like the fact that the engineering, the robotics, and the physics techs, my colony really gravitates towards them for the very simple purpose of it's the easiest to get done. All right, let's turn you back on. Make sure that guy's operating. Can't land during dust storms, that's fine. He's going to stay up there for another 16 hours. And I'll keep just putting around with Explorer number 2, see what I can find down here. Maybe I'll find another rare anomaly. If that's the case, all the better. Because we got Extractor AI from it. We could have gotten I service robots. Found. Here's the other underground entrance, which means I got more materials available here. This is nice. Because I do have... I Both my underground entrances are fairly close to each other. Because we got income. one here. One up here. SETI satellite. 50, 30. Doable. Well, doable in the fact that I can do it. It's not the fact. It's. I need the electronics for it. Wait a minute. High speed comm satellite. Okay, if I remember correctly, I have to. If I get the materials to do the SETI satellite, I can turn around and buy all the electronics I need for a high speed comm satellite and give me extra research. There's a little bit of uh, horse trading that has to be done with that. But let's, uh... I gotta put this over here, I think. I'm gonna do like that, I think. They'll be a little offset from each other, but I like the idea of having another landing pad. I could probably bring this guy in right there, too. Our initial spectrographic analysis. Engineering techs, 
just take the take the percentage reduction because hey look i'm re researching engineering stuff i might as well utilize it um i think i'm around the 30 minute mark uh, legitimately with all the coughing fits i've had scan. recording this video and haven't had a lot of coughing fits here toward the end of this video so far um i think i'm actually doing all right um i do want to put a cut in here obvious reasons um actually do need to kind of start working on breakfast for the family like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching this first part in my Random Colony series. I'm going to put him... Yeah, I'll put him here. I'm going to try to record these in batches ahead of time just so I can make sure I'm getting... That's about to be bad. Okay, bye-bye, Water Extractor. Thanks for watching, everyone.